stand up and fight back. Yes. And I couldn't be prouder than to stand up and fight back with an amazing candidate for President of the United States. Yes. Just a few minutes ago, we were at the CWA Hall near the airport. The CWA Local 1122 is part of 40,000 workers that told Verizon just a few hours ago that at 6 a.m. Wednesday, we are standing up, fighting back, going on strike. center jobs to the Philippines because of bad trade deals. No! Verizon refusing to invest here in Buffalo in high-speed internet, but instead bidding today to buy Yahoo for $35 billion, but no investment here in Buffalo. No! This is what this campaign is about. It's about working-class families. It's about the She said to us, I'll watch your feet, not your mouth. Anybody can talk. We have another candidate who talks, but we have a candidate here who with his feet is with us.
many people are here tonight? Jim Hightower, Katrina Martin, Brian Nowak, and Larry Cohn for their coming tonight. This, this is a campaign on the moon. And your presence here tonight tells me how much energy and enthusiasm we have.
21st century Glass-Steagall legislation. the largest financial institution. Yes. 
spend $900 million in this election cycle to elect candidates who represent the wealthy and the powerful. That is not democracy, that is oligarchy, and we are going to turn that. Embarrassed. 
is by the fact that the United States of America has more people in jail than any other country on earth. Between 17 and 20, if those kids are white, 33% are unemployed or underemployed. If they are Latino, 36%. If they are African American, 51%. So here is radical idea number two, which is really not so radical, and that is together. We're going to invest for our young people in jobs and education, not jobs. I know that all of you are tired of looking at videos on television. Where unarmed people offering African Americans a shot. I have been a mayor for eight years and I've worked with police officers all over my state and all over this country. The vast majority of police officers are honest, hardworking, and do a very good job. Officers, like any other public official, if they break the law, they must be held. Because it turns out that blacks and whites 
do marijuana at about the same rates, but blacks are four times more likely to be arrested. Substance Act, marijuana is listed as a Schedule One drug. Boo! Right alongside of heroin. Boo! Now people can argue the pluses and minuses of marijuana, but nobody thinks that marijuana is equivalent to a killer drug like heroin. And that is why I have introduced legislation which would take marijuana out of the federal control. Secretary Clinton on a number of important issues. And one of the ways that you can see differences in candidates is how they raise their money for a campaign. ago, we had to make a very important decision, and that decision was, should we establish a super PAC like every other candidate? No. We agreed, we agreed with you. beyond my belief and something I never in a million years would have thought that I would be telling you. And that is we have now received over six million individual campaign on Wall Street and the people. including 15 million from Wall Street. Oh! But furthermore, as many of you may know, Secretary Clinton has given a number of speeches on Wall Street to Goldman Sachs and to other financial institutions. 
for $250,000 a speech.
in 2013, Niagara Ceramics threw 110 workers out on the streets because of unfair competition with China. 2003, Motorola moved its circuit board plant from Buffalo to Mexico, and on and on it goes. Oh. I voted against every one of these disasters. supported virtually every trade policy. Oh. And there is another issue of growing consequence to this area, to New York State, and to states all over this country. And that is the fact that more and more people are drinking water that is poisoned. This campaign 
campaign is going to win because we are listening to the American people, not wealthy campaign campaigns. We are listening to workers all across this country who tell us they can't make it on eight or nine dollars an hour. They want, I want to raise the national minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour. And when we talk about equitable wages, all of you know that women today are making 79 cents on the dollar compared to men. Latino, that gap is even wider. What women are telling me is they want the whole damn dollar. States needs to have the best educated 
us in the world if we are to succeed in a highly competitive global economy. And all of you know that in many respects, a college degree today, in 2016, is roughly the equivalent of what a high school degree was 50 years ago. Talk about it. 50 years ago, you had a high school degree, you were considered well-educated, you can go out and get a pretty good job. But the world has changed, the economy has changed, technology has changed. In my view, when we talk about public education today, it is not good enough to talk about first grade through 12th grade. We have got to make public colleges and universities tuition free. listening to a group of people 
people whose voices are very rarely heard, and that is the Native American community. We end up spending far more than any other country per capita 
must move toward a Medicare for all single payer. that coming together in our proud diversity 
always trumps dividing us up. that supporting each other always trumps selfishness. And maybe most profoundly, what the American people know is what every major religion on earth has taught us. And that is whether it is Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, is that love trumps hatred. Let's do it. Thank you.